So, welcome back to another episode of Manual Offs. We've got um, the Blue Bar out of um, Titan and Little Storm's first round. Um, we only had to give the checkered one, which is this Nestmates, one dose of the tablets, um, and that cleared up the canker. But unfortunately, this guy it is the second day. Um, it's still, it has cleared up, but it's still a little bit present. You'll see. Um, in around his mouth here still a little bit puffy um, I can still see a little bit down his throat so I'm going to give him another tablet um, and hopefully this should pretty much clear it up because these birds are a little bit um, too special to you know not get them out flying definitely want to see how these ones go um, got my little DAC tablet there um, and then hopefully we get it down in there just like that and hopefully he swallows it. Just want to make sure that it goes all the way down. So you can see still a little bit of a few little canker lumps there, which hopefully should go down in the next 24 hours with this bit of medication, the poor little fella. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. Um, trying to keep these videos daily, uploads as possible, um, and around about that 10 minute mark. So if you like these videos and you want me to keep doing it, keep hitting that like button. Now how you going with swallowing that little fella? Looks like it's got down down there a bit more. Um, we'll probably get him back out into the loft. I've also taken the pig tray out of Leo and Storm's box at the moment because their babies are out in the weanings or getting weaned into the main loft. Um, and then we've just set them up with a pig tray which will be for these little guys. So what we need to do is get this little guy back out there. He won't be picking at this for the next few days just cause he's got canker and stuff like that. Mum and dad will probably still feed him. Um, but we'll take that out and get you back out there. Poor little fella, hey? Beautiful little pigeon, come on. Come on. Right, come on. Hop up. So hopefully he's going to be okay. We'll keep an eye on him over the next few days. Um, got the pick train here as well. I do apologise for the music and noise. Neighbours are always noisy on the weekend, so it is definitely hard to get some really good filming, but um, we're making the effort. So we'll just have to keep an eye on this little fella. Hopefully you know, he pulls through. The other one looks really good. Look at him, very alert and very happy. Mum, got some grit for you. How are you going? You're looking really good since those babies are left. Getting a bit of peace and quiet. But, got some grit there for you. And also, some for this pair. Come on. Come on, back in there. Right, so this morning is actually quite a nice morning. Um, so I put the bath bowl in there like you've seen, um, put some bath salts in there and they've all had a bath, so they're all looking probably, uh, they're all starting to dry out a bit now. 
but um, they definitely enjoy having a bath. Hey, and got this big chunker in here, the big beef cake. Got him in here on the floor just for the day. Um, probably put him back in the nest bowl, maybe later on today, back in his little cage. But I'm just getting used to the loft. He's it's no harm him sitting down on the floor anyway because he's going to spend a lot more time in here as he gets older so just get him in here on the floor he seems to really enjoy it he's got a little friend down here which is one of Leon Storm's babies that were in here weaning as well which seems to be you know just sitting on the floor trying to get a feel for the whole new loft um, I think there is, a, there is another one here somewhere oh it's up, up there up the back that one seems to be settling in quite well um, they all like the new grit too they love the new grit as soon as you put in there still seem to be eating a lot of the clay and charcoal in there which is unusual usually they leave that I don't mind it when they have a bath too because all their feet get nice and clean cleans all their rings look how clean all their rings are There's a, the black ones are quite aggressive, the ones from Adam Archer. Everyone's sort of molting or, you know. Oh, gosh. We'll take your turns. So, yeah, it's all gone quite good. Hey, little fella. Little squeaker. You're just so noisy. Uh, so, we've got three in here at the moment. I'm, we'll take him out of the night time just so he's not getting picked on or anything. But he seems to be pretty good in here. But all these other babies are doing pretty well. There's Bluey, she's had a bath as well. Come on. Come on. But um, she's actually starting to molt out now. So as you can see, she's got a lot of uh, very light patches on her. That's the colour that she's going to molt into. Um, she's going to lose that more dark and she's going to go into a more bluey colour. She's got a lot of, like it's a real grey colour at the moment. Um, but you can even see on the front here. She's starting to get the shiny patches in the front, which is beautiful. She's going to be very nice when she goes and even on her shoulders and stuff there, so she's going to be a beautiful little bird when she fully molts out, so that's going to be definitely going to be one to wait for, I think. She's been, you're always comfortable, you like sitting on my hand, but she's had a little bath as well. Might have been her first bath, actually, so that's good for her. Um, she still feels a little bit wet, so she can probably sit up there and dry out properly. Oh, who just flicked something on my neck? Oh, that was poo on my neck, yuck. They're fighting up here. Oh, there's always something going on in this loft. Um, the hen from Madame Archer, you can see she's had a little bath. She's quite wet. Everyone's had a bath, which is good. I've been putting the bath salts in there as well. Come on. I'm hop out of the way. But we do have another little problem that I'll probably... I've been keeping an eye on. So basically... Um, these two chicks down the bottom we've, we've got a bit of a problem you can actually see the difference in the size of these is quite big um, we had a similar issue with um, the round before which bluey come from which you know, this one might be another blue barless hen but we'll just have to wait and see but I keep finding this little hen well this the smallest baby I keep finding it out been pushed out of the nest so I don't know if it's this chick that's pushing it out or not um, I'm gonna have to keep a very close eye on it because um, it is getting pushed out of the nest and not fed it has got a lot of food in there now because I've been keeping a close eye on it but um, I'm just a little bit concerned that um, you know it we might get pushed out of there and not fed at all so uh, it's going to be a bit of a pain but I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on it things that I can do is I can take the big chick out of here bring it into here um, and have two big chicks in here and then move this little one into there so it's just getting looked after by itself or what I can do is take this little one out and hand raise it up myself um, just so I can give it the attention that it needs um, and the other option is potentially taking this one out hand raising it and then moving this chick into here um, and then this pair might go down and X again so instead of having two bowls with one baby in it we could probably just sort of rotate around a bit we'll, we'll probably just see just a few options I'm going to keep an eye on it over the next 24 hours and just make sure because I don't want to lose any from this barless project 
But um, yeah, we'll see. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, it's a very friendly little one, and I don't want to risk losing a, another barless. This is a bit upsetting, you know, because they are pretty cool. Hopefully, I don't find it out of the nest again. If I find it pushed out, then I'll definitely take some action, but I'm just keeping a close eye on it at the moment. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like, hit the like button. Um, definitely helps out my videos. If you want to keep seeing more daily uploads, hit that like button and drop down below. I'm just going to show you again, just a few comments I've had. I'm just going to show you again the two products that I am using and that these are the only two products I have that are going to deal with the canker. Um, so I've got Turbosol Australian product um, and I've got this DAC Pharma one. Um, both really good using both of them um, but this one has a four on one so anyway just a little quick update for you guys hope you enjoyed it hit the like button and i'll catch you guys in the next video